Hi, I'm Mark Griffith. Today we're on the water in the Florida Keys and we're going to show you some of the cool new features on the NSS EVO 3. So on the setup today we have a 16 inch NSS EVO 3 Solar Max HD display. The IPS screens are viewable from above, left, right and below, right around to 85 plus degrees. So with all of our screen sizes for NSS EVO 3, we've increased the resolution. On the 16 inch here, this is full HD and you can see the, the number of spot soundings that are visible at this zoom level. What that means is you don't need to be zooming the chart in and out all the time in order to see your waypoints and any labels you've given them. You can see it all at this level. So for EVO 3 we have the new Heroic software which has been refreshed for this product line. See on the home screen, new layouts, new icons uh, and, and easier to find and access settings and menu functions. So NSS EVO 3 has got full hybrid controls. We have multi-touch touchscreen as well as a fully functional keypad. This is really important in rough sea states where using a touchscreen becomes difficult. Where we are at the moment, it's not a problem. Touchscreen is very usable. We can go into our chart, use our zoom gestures. Everything functions as it should. In rough sea conditions, we can move right over to the keypad and do everything we need to from here. So NSS EVO 3 has a new key called the wheel key on the top left hand side of the keypad. This is a user key that can be programmed to do whatever you like. The default function if you have an autopilot installed is to engage the autopilot, but if you don't have a pilot installed or you want to do a different function, uh, you can reprogram that key. Simply by going into settings, configure wheel key. It can have two functions a short press and long press. Under short press, this is the full list of features that the key can be set to do. In this case, it's been set to go to the engine page and the long press has been programmed to maximize the window we're looking at. So to demo that, I'll go back to our full screen chart. Short press will take us direct to our engine information. Okay, and on a split, split panel function, we can maximize the window of interest. So in this case, if I want to see the radar in full screen, long press will blow it up for me. One of the new features with NSS EVO 3 is the built-in dual channel chirp echo sounder. So the advantage of that is you can run either two single chirp transducers or some of the dual channel MR transducers such as the B275 and the 509. So you can see here selecting the dual channel sonar option. On the left we've got our high chirp channel and on the right our low chirp. So a key advantage of having high and low chirp running simultaneously is obviously the depth penetration of the low chirp is far superior but the high chirp can give you the surface detail you need when you're trying to mark fish near the surface while trawling. In the past this was only available through uh, external high-end echo sounder modules uh, but as part of our integration, we've now included that built-in on the EVO 3 units. NSS EVO 3 can also do structure scan, which gives you down and side imaging, as well as forward scan, a transducer we sell that plugs directly into the EVO 3. NSS EVO 3 also includes built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth now. You can access this through the settings menu, scroll down to wireless, and here you can conf configure the access point you connect to or you can set the device up to be an access point so you can screen mirror directly to your mobile device. Okay, so to recap on some of the new features of the NSS EVO 3, we've got the Solomax HD IPS technology displays, ultra wide viewing angles, amazing color reproduction and clarity. We've got our extended keypad function for serious use in rough sea conditions. We've got our built-in dual channel echo sounder, bringing some of those premium sonar features right into the unit. Built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality. 